I have no idea which video you're watching first, but in case this is the first one, welcome to the MSC dissertation documentation series, okay? So talked about it in um, the video that recapped my December and then introducing this project that we are basically trying to get a visual representation of the year going, right? So getting something so that we don't get too bogged down in um, what we're doing and that we can actually have something to reference our progress so far. Uh, so we all have really bare bones ideas. Like we've gotten to the point where we're good at like saying what we're trying to do, but how we're doing that, we have nary a clue. We have no idea. So um, I've got a bunch of sticky notes <laughs> right here on my, like right next to my bed. Cause me and my friend were just talking about kind of just some structure stuff I was going through um, with my friend. So yeah, just trying to get all that stuff sorted is just a lot. Um, so you get that outline so you know where to start. Um, so I'll be starting this week, which is <laughs> it's crazy to think that, you know, I'm about to be starting something that's going to take nine months to come to fruition. But here we are. Here I am. Um, so the videos, with, the intro videos with Shivani and Sean, uh, we recorded in the same day. I'm in the same outfit, so it's kind of obviously <laughs> recorded in the same day. Um, and my video is coming a little bit later, um, about a week, a uh, week and a half later. Um, so I had a clear 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 grasp on my dissertation at that point um but i've muddled it a little bit because i'm trying to take something out um just to make sure that i don't run out of time i'm really conscious of the time um, especially having taken a look at a few dissertations and um from previous years and like you can kind of tell that somebody ran out of time um, and then on the other hand like you can tell somebody really like use their time very well and you know got to say everything they want to say and I want to be able to say everything that I want to say and I don't necessarily want to drop in quality for quantity um really want to do quality work and if I just need that little bit of extra time um then I want to be able to afford that to myself um so yeah and yeah I don't have intro questions for myself I'm gonna use some of the same ones that I had Shivani and Sean do um, I haven't really introduced myself onto this channel at all whatsoever, so it'll kind of be a little bit of a get to know me as well. Um, yeah, I kind of just like started this channel when I started and I started making videos like everybody knew who I already was. But if this ever gets to the point where like <laughs> not everybody knows who I am, then it's kind of like, ah. I also like some of my newer friends that I've made since moving to England are watching and so they also don't know these things about me, so spicy get to know me ah. <laughs> okay so um hi my name is Kendra Clark that's my government name I go by Kenny a lot in a lot of places but my government name is Kendra Clark in case you didn't know um I'm 23 I will be 24 in July on the 20th me and uh, Shivani are both cancers. That's why it's like, that's why we were laughing at that question. I don't know. I feel like we laughed at stuff that like nobody understands why we're laughing, but like it's funny to us. I promise. <laughs> um, dietary restrictions. It's funny because we all, all three of us have dietary restrictions. So we were trying to, we were out um, in town, not in town. We we're out in London and we we're trying to find some place to eat because we had done a field trip to the pathology museum Um uh, and we were trying to find somewhere to eat and we would go into a place and look at the menu and be like, can't eat here, can't eat here, can't eat here, can't eat here. And I was like, damn, like this is insane. So yeah, I personally don't eat pork. Um, and no, it's not for a religious reason. Um, but yeah, I kind of do it as like a way to honor my grandfather who, um, did not eat pork for his personal reasons that I'm not going to just blast on the internet. So if you want to know, you can ask me. Um, but yeah. Where am I from? I'm from Glenmont. <laughs> okay, let me shut up. 
<laughs> I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, yeah, I was born in D.C., raised in Maryland. Anytime anybody asks me where I'm from, I just tell them I'm from D.C. Because these people, like, how am I supposed to know if they, Like, how are they going to know where Maryland is? Like, I'm not expecting them to know that. I'm just like, I'm from D.C. Plus, close enough anyway. And I was born there, so semantics. Um, where did I study previously and what degrees do I hold? I started my academic athletic career at Cleveland State University in Cleveland, Ohio. And then after two years, I transferred, um, continuing on the academic and athletic path at Georgia State University um, in Atlanta, Georgia. And then after two years, I was teaching for a year. Um, I taught at the Hill School in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Um, and now I'm here at the University of Reading. Um, yeah. What degrees do I hold? So yeah, I, at Cleveland State, I started off as a speech and hearing minor religious studies minor and anthropology major. And then I dropped the speech and hearing um, after my first year and I made the religious studies minor a double major. So I continued with that. I think it was called comparative religion at Cleveland State, but it was uh, religious studies at Georgia State. So I graduated with um, bachelor's of arts in religious studies and anthropology. <laughs> love them, love them, love them. But yeah. Am I working now? Yes. I work in town. I work at a cocktail bar. Um, I really like it. Super fun. Great time. Good coworkers. Uh, made friends there. Um, and it's fun getting someone how to make the cocktails. I've never, I've worked in restaurants for a long time since high school, but I've never worked behind the bar before. So that's definitely a new experience and a fun experience. And I'm having a great time. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It just gives you something to learn that's not school, gets your mind off things, lets you out, gets you about, <laughs> I don't know, I just said about because I said out. But yeah, like I enjoy the walk to work, I enjoy the walk back from work, yeah, even though my feet hurt like crazy. But, um, I tend to work a lot, so it's a good thing that it, with my visa I'm limited to 20 hours a week because that keeps me in check. Because if I didn't have that, I know that personally I would wiggle my way into working more hours, but I've been able to solidly maintain my focus, have that break from my work, and make money all at the same time. So, yeah. How did I find out about the MSc program and what drew me to the University of Reading? Um, I found out about it. It was one of the accredited programs on the AABA website. Um, the American Association of Biological Anthropologists. And I went through and looked at the programs that they have accredited because obviously I want something like recognized within the field that I want to <laughs> continue forward in. And so, yeah, I just thought, what a better way to make sure that my degree is relevant than to go to the people that would know. You know, just makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's how I found out about the program. And how I found out about all of the programs that I was looking at. So I made like this Excel spreadsheet and I like had it color coded and like, just, it was a lot going on. Um, it wasn't that deep, but it was, but it wasn't, but it was, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so yeah. Um, I was really drawn to the University of Reading because they, I just feel like they had a lot of resources. I really like the greenery. I like the accommodations that they could provide. Um, and I was really interested in the program. I got to look at all of the like module hand, the module handbooks and like the course descriptions and everything. And the specificity of the osteoarchaeology, like the nature of the program, um, it's just exactly it's just exactly what I wanted and everything that I wanted to delve deeper into from my undergrad that I didn't have the chance to, I would have the opportunity to do and I'm currently doing here. So um so happy, like <laughs> very hard, yes. I do cry often, but I wished for this and I wouldn't change it for the world, to be quite fair. Um to be quite fair, to be fair, to be honest, 
I just, so those two, those like America, Britain. Anyway, um, yeah. So my favorite thing about studying at the University of Reading. I don't know. <laughs> I really like I really like the opportunity that I've had to focus on academia. I've never been in this position before um cuz I've always worked too many hours or had away games or tired from lifting and practice and working and you know like I was just living such a busy life and like now my number one unrivaled priority is school and I'm so 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 thankful for that opportunity and I'm really enjoying it I'm having a great time and it is really hard but I don't know like I'm really proud of myself and I'm just so excited to be learning again um shifting from that primary teaching role that I was in last year. And I was definitely learning, excuse me, I was definitely learning while I was teaching, but getting back to that, just, I don't know. I just love, yeah, okay. Next. <laughs> mm, I th ooh, nope, I just said that. Do I have any next steps in mind? Um, yeah, I have like 10,000 next steps in mind. But I want to get my PhD and I want to be a professor and I want to do research uh, and I want to consult and I want to do like forensics based um, archaeology and yeah, I, I want to become a forensic anthropologist. Like I want to do so many things. I want to learn how to play the piano. Like. <laughs> I don't know, like, there aren't, like, I just have so many things that I want to do that hopefully I get to sh continue to share with you guys because I really like this media platform. Um, but yeah, PhD and professoria and I really like academia and I want to get back into coaching kids and... I really like teaching, um, and yeah, I don't fully have a great grasp on it, but I'm willing to move anywhere, as you guys know. Like, I just run around chasing opportunities, like, YOLO. Anyway, moving on. Um, <clears throat> oh, do I have an idea what my dissertation topic will be at? Oh, Chile. So... Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to examine social status differences through um, the via, like, through diet analysis, which would be, like, stable isotope analysis. So Shivani's also doing stable isotope analysis, so we have the same uh, ad advisor for um, our projects. And, yeah, I want to use... Let me look at my little sticky notes, actually. I want to compare status groups... In post medieval, middle medieval, post medieval, um, you know, she's fighting me right now. I was doing so good with this yesterday. Investigation of inequality through diet studies, isotope analysis, in post medieval or middle medieval. Haven't decided my sample yet, so post-medieval, mid-medieval, middle-medieval, anywhere in there. Um, and yeah, there's a specific collection that I think I'm going to be working with, but I just have to confirm that I can um, get the sample that I need, like an adequate sample, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to be able to get an adequate sample. I just, you know, don't want to jinx anything, so I'm just going to shh, shh, shh on the sample. But yeah, uh, I got the idea because I was really interested in... Um, a topic we covered last term we had this course called uh, introduction wait what was it called what was it called issues and debates in bioarchaeology um 
And one of the weeks we covered archaeology of inequality, and I feel like that just really resonated with my uh, deep interest that I've had in cultural anthropology in the past. Um, and I still do have, like, I love a good ethnography, don't get me wrong. But um, just a good cross-section of that, like, cultural investigation and um, the osteoarchaeology that I'm learning. So to be able to combine those two is something that I really wanted to be able to do. Um, and yeah, I was gonna like sprinkle in a little uh, childhood frailty index, mm, but that's what I have since yeeted and may or may not try to put back. Not really sure yet. So yeah, this video is getting long. Oops. <laughs> I'm not even editing it. It's gonna be one take. Yeah. So moving on. Besides graduation, what's something that I want to accomplish this year? I'll be dropping this, the first edition of this soon, but I'm trying to do 52 5Ks this year. So that's one 5K every week uh, for the whole year. And so far I've got four out of four and I'm like, oh, success. So we'll see if I can keep it up because I am consistently inconsistent. Um, but yeah, I think it will be a really nice accomplishment if I can do that this year because... I don't know. Yeah, just fun. I'm also doing a daily Sudoku puzzle right now. Um, and I just looked at where I have it and then I just did it again. Um, but daily Sudoku puzzle, there's like 80 puzzles in the book. So like 80 days, keep the brain going. Something that I love to do outside of education, exercise. That's why I'm doing this challenge. <laughs> uh, Play football, play soccer, play football. You guys can fight over that. I, I, I don't even have any feelings for it. it. Just call it call it whatever it's called wherever I am. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm about. That's how I roll. Um, and what or who has been most integral to my support system this year? Usually I go through phases of talking to my friends, <clears throat> and typically I feel like to the answer this question I would be able to say like blank person or blank person or blank person but I feel like this year has been so crazy because all my friends are fighting for their lives like we're just really all like we're struggling so much in so many different ways and so um I would have to say it's been a true 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 group effort the most it's ever been because usually I feel like I fall into like a dark deep hole in a far away state and then I talk to the same three people um which on a daily, I probably do talk to the same people, but I've been incorporating more people, trying to stay more connected. And yeah, also my family. I feel like this is the not the most I've talked to my family. That sounds, I mean, I don't know how that sounds, but um, definitely in undergrad, I was very chaotically all over the place. Last year, very all over the place as well. Um, and I feel like this is the most that... I feel like they, I have leaned on them, um, which just speaks to my own growth in trying to let people help me. Um, but yeah, so it's the most like I feel like my family's ever helped. And then um, I feel like I've been building a community here, but not pushing it too hard, letting it come naturally. Um, and whether that shows as like I'm not putting in effort sometimes, like I. I don't know. I've been a victim of putting in too much effort so many times and I'm not doing it anymore. So that's just, you know, how my past experiences have shaped me. Um, huh. But, you know, it clicks with the people it clicks with and it with the people it doesn't click with. I don't force it. Maybe it will one day. Maybe it won't. Who's to say? But yeah, um, My support system, yeah, I just, like, I've been trying to reach back out to people who have been helpful in the past, my old professor, um, some people I met in the support group I was in, um, and kind of reestablish and maintain those relationships, and reaching out to old friends as well, um, yeah, I don't know, like, I just feel... Like now more than ever, it's really important for me because I don't want to have any of those slip ups that those mental collapses that could be so costly now because I know how hard I work to be here. So 
if I have to put my pride aside, get over myself, and speak to somebody to feel better, then I'm going to do that. Um, I haven't been in therapy. Well, I was in therapy last year, but I wasn't on medication last year. So that was my first full year um, being off medication for depression and anxiety. And I just feel like, you know, like, this is my life. Like, I put the reins on that jaunt. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it PG. I <laughs> put the reins on that jaunt. And now, like, I have control of it. I, I really do. So, you know, I know myself a lot better. I've learned so much about myself over these past five years, ever since I left the house. Um, and this is the sixth year I've been out of the house. Um just chasing whatever is my dream in that moment, in that year, changing my life, shaping my life, and doing what I got to do. So I'm so excited to bring you guys on this journey with me for the rest of this year um, as we go through year six on to year seven um, of the time since I left home. And, you know, actually, you guys will get to see what I get to do. Um, I'm pretty, one of my best friends. Uh, she <laughs> was like, I was talking to her at one point last term and I was trying to like explain something to her and she was like, you know what? I realized that this is like the first time I really, really, really understood what you're actually doing because you always say you're doing stuff and then you just like, psh, like you brush over it and you don't even like fully like that. Nah. So yeah, hopefully this is the, nah, and you guys will get the thing. <laughs> Hopefully I also get the ding, you feel me? Because the way I was staring at them sticky notes is not dinging up here and I needed the thing. Oh my god, I need to go read some articles. But yeah, that's all from me. I'm literally not gonna do the speed run of the questions because I don't feel like it. But I will sign off right now and say, well you guys will see me soon. You already know that. I I'm around. This this is my this is my space. But, um, yeah, you'll be seeing me and them, and welcome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm just going to keep rambling, so I'm just going to wave it out for real.